Hey guys, how you doing? Steve here and welcome to a video where I ask you how to help me build an army from this. There is only war. Hey guys, how is it going? I hope you're all well. Top Table Steve here. And in this video, as I mentioned, uh, I am going to be needing a little bit of help building a Space Wolf Army for 9th edition using what I've got. I've got a lot. Before we go any further, please do click the subscribe button as we have a lot of 40k content coming uh, very, very soon. Uh, we are hitting 9th in a big, big way. Um, and there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes and especially in our studio so that we can bring you super, super cool battle reports uh, of the like that I don't think or hope you will have seen or experienced. So do hit that subscribe button so you are notified when we release those. Also, please help us uh, sort of spread the word. Bang that like button uh, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it. Um, again, it tells us that you appreciate what we're doing um, and it sort of helps us know what content to put out there so if this is the type of video you like to watch do hit the like button and then um, we'll keep it coming we'll keep it coming for you so what am i doing here so 40k 9th edition it's due out on saturday um i'm lucky enough to have two sides of the space marine side of the indomitus box set coming my way um very very lucky um i was able to um get one and swap the half the other half with Jay because he's collecting Necrons. Um, I'll quickly, I won't drag on about it, but I'll quickly just tell you a little bit about, about the background and, and why I'm choosing the force that I'm choosing and why I'm choosing to play 40k. So as you can probably see from some of the box sets in front of me, um, when a starter set or a set from Games Workshop comes out for 40k that has Space Wars in it, I buy it. Um, all the way back to, I think it was the Stormclaw, Stormclaw box set uh, with Space Wolves and Orcs um, and everyone since that has been released since then, uh, I have picked up. So I do have quite a bit. Some of them are not here, they're at the studio. These are the ones that I have at home and I think these are the most recent ones. I also have the Space Marines Battalion Detachment box set for Apocalypse. So I have got an absolute shed load of Intercessors, um, another Dreadnought in there. Captain and what else is in there? So we've got Primaris Captain, Redemptor Dreadnought, and loads of intercessors. Yeah, and that's what you get in that box. So I've got tons there. So um, you know, making units of intercessors won't be a problem. Um, I just need to wolf them up a little bit. Um, I do have, as you can see, lots of sprues. Um, I've got lots of sprues over on my desk from the older um, Space Wolf sprues, loads of bits that I just picked up on eBay because they're nice. They've got all kind of little talismans and the little wolf pelts and things like that. And you can add them to the Primaris and wolf them up just so they not don't just look like Space Marines painted in Space Wolf colors, basically. Um, I'll, I want my army to look individual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through quickly um, what I have. Um, and uh, this isn't just what I'm going to build the army from um, I, i'm happy to uh, invest and purchase more to to build a, a decent army uh, using your guys input so i want you guys to comment below let me know if you think i've got everything i need um let you let me know if you think there's stuff that i still need to get um bear in mind i've got them them uh the indomitus box sets times two uh, coming to me on Saturday as well. So bear those in mind when you are suggesting things because apparently those units are pretty cool. I'm looking forward actually to the captain with the big shield uh, to somehow wolf in that shield up a little bit. I don't want it to look exactly like the normal like ultramarine captain just painted in Space Wolf Grey. Um, I want to really, really wolf that up. So suggestions are welcome. So what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to just get on camera, go through some of the sprues um, and tell you what I've got, what HQs I've got, what units I've got, because I've got some stuff that over the years I started painting, because I used to paint these for fun, the Space Wolves, because they look cool. Uh, so, you know, I've got like a, um, a Venerable Dreadnought, uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry, some Intercessors, some of the heroes, like I say, 
storm fang and things like that and then i've just got all sorts of sprues because i used to collect the conquest uh magazines as well so if you go back in our back catalog there is 40k content already on the channel uh, me and ben started with the conquest magazines we started doing a little series um, and that got sidelined for reasons um nothing to do with us not enjoying it we really loved it it's just that other things come and time was an issue and we couldn't get in the studio to, to film anymore when we decided that we were going to finish it off ninth edition was announced so we thought there's no point we may as well just hang on now for ninth and, and throw ourselves into that which is what we're going to do so i've got another camera um i'll go picture in picture show you quickly what i've got don't worry this video isn't going to drag on um and um i'll come back to you in a second so straight off the bat guys you can see i have the tooth and claw box set which was the first set which uh featured uh primary space walls uh, which was great i did make a start on these i got the uh three aggressors uh, painted up there they're painted they're sort of ready to go uh gaming standard i could go a little bit further on them but i have those three uh painted up i also started to paint and then i've got some of the some of the intercessors uh, uh painted but basically i've got the full box um of those so the tooth and claw box set um is ready to go so i'm assuming that will be part i also have behind here the Apocalypse uh, Space Marines Battalion Detachment. So um, intercessors are not going to be a problem. Uh, there's also a Dreadnought in there. Um, I've got quite a few Dreadnoughts because I did end up with a few from the Conquest magazines. Um, so I've got that also. So plenty of intercessors. Uh, they're not going to be a problem. Um, talking about uh, Dreadnoughts, I do have, excuse me, the uh, Venerable, uh, is it the Venerable? Yeah, Venerable uh, Dreadnought. Uh, which I started to paint just as a hobby project. Uh, so he's ready to go. Is it worth having that in the army? Is, is, is it decent? Uh, you guys let me know. Um, let's have a look on here. So then this is probably a bit of a question for you guys because because I was never a player and I just liked Space Wolves and I'd had loads of sprues and bits, I started just to like build marines. Uh, so I don't know if the loadout is playable or not. So one of the first ones that I did... Um, was this dude you see that um, he's equipped with uh, a bolter and uh, an axe so is he usable as I don't know uh, a battle battle leader uh, possibly maybe um, yeah could be what do you guys think is it worth or do I need to start stripping him down and uh, kit bash him in a different manner let me know um, I've then got these guys. So he's 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 got a uh, power sword. Um, do I need to change that to be something else? Uh, and a, and a, a pistol, bolt a pistol, not based. So I was just painting him. I think I used him uh, to practice some techniques with contrast paints. Uh, but obviously, get him on a base and put him in the white, the right, uh, the right weaponry, and add some pelts to him and stuff, and he'll be ready to go. Uh, chainsaw dude. Now chainsaws are in, right? They're, they're back now, so I can use this. He's also got a dagger. He doesn't have a gun on him. Do I need to? He's, apart from his pistol, uh, what unit could he be? Do I need to do anything to him? I'm not too sure. I just I just built him that way because I thought he looked cool. Um, yeah. Uh, this this dude. I think this was from a, uh, a sergeant model. Uh, yeah, sergeant model, but then obviously I painted him up in uh, Space Wolf colours. So, uh, again, you know, can, can he be used? Do I need to change him up? Um, I'm not sure. He's got, he's got, he's, his bolter looks different. His bolter does look different. Um, like I said, I'm not clued up with what these are. Obviously, I will learn this in the coming weeks. But what can I use him as? in a space wolf army if at all um, do let me know and then obviously i have the prophecy of the wolf um, set and i've started to paint uh, marines phobos marines from uh, the prophecy of uh, the wolf um, so i have that full box set so i have that um, full lot of phobos marines as well as some extras um, so I know they can be used. I know that straight off the bat. Um, and then I've also 
halfway through starting Ragnar. Now I hear Ragnar is a bit of a beast. Um, I'm just putting him together. He's, I've got to prime him, I've based him. Um, so he's he's pretty much a definite, right? He's a given, he's gonna be in my army. Um, so these guys, this was um, Sergeant, a Sergeant Jovan conversion, and now I've wolfed him up a little bit. Is he worth putting in my list? Or is he just gonna sit on my shelf looking pretty? Uh, almost finished the paint job on him. And then some of the Phobos uh, Marines from Shadow Spear. Again, I picked up those because I just thought they looked cool and started to wolf them up. Do you guys rate these? Um, are they worth using in a Space Wolf army? Uh, let's have a look. And then this sprue was given to me uh, by a friend who knows that I really like Space Wolves. Um, and I cannot remember his name. No doubt some of you guys watch it will know who that is. Um, but that's very cool. So I've got that. Is 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 that going in? Is it going in? Um, and then heroes we have. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is it's an Arjak Rockfist. He's painted. He's 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 ready for battle. He's ready to go. Not Primaris, but still a very, very cool and apparently a very, very good unit. So I have him painted. Um, I also have... Is it Najal Stormcaller? So he's painted, he's ready to go also. Um, I do have a Chrom Dragon Glaze uh, from way, way back. He's also painted. Again, don't know if he's worth having in, in my army. And then I've got three um, Thunderwolf Cav. Started painting these just to go on my shelf because I thought, oh, riders fell off because I thought they looked cool. Um, and yeah, so I've got those. I could finish those. Uh, not Primaris, but still very, very cool. Um, and then I picked these up today. Apparently they're quite good, right? Um, Wolfen. So I've got one box of those. Uh, and apparently they uh, go quite well with one of these bad boys. So I started painting this up. Um, would you recommend the use of this with the Wolfen um, in the army? Or is it too much of a point sink? What do we think? Do let me know. So on top of that now, what I have is an absolute shed load of sprues especially from uh, Conquest magazine. So I've got loads and loads of like HQ models, so captains and sergeants and all sorts uh, coming out of my ears. And then I've got loads of sprues of the old Space Wolf sprues. Uh, there's another one there. Tons of this stuff. So this is a, a good, gonna be good for just for wolfing up what I've got. Some more Dreadnoughts. Uh, Scouts, really don't like those models, so I don't think they're gonna make an appearance in my army. Uh, what have we got here? Do -do -do -do. It's got Hellblaster and uh, what are the flying flying dudes called? It's got some Hellblasters in it. Am I, am I putting Hellblasters in my army? Um, and then this sprue has uh, Gravis Armor, Captain, um, and what looks like. Oh, that's just, I think that's part of, part of a similar. Sprue's got a Hellblaster rifle on there. What are the fly guys called? Yeah, I've got a couple of them built up on my Ultramarines, but can't, I can never remember the names. This is what happens when you don't play a game for 12 months. So yeah, I've got plenty of these sprues. Plenty of those. Um, scout bikes, not too keen on those. Um, bits from my Space Wolf Reavers from Kill Team. Um, some more Hellblaster sprues. Yeah, you see that? So this, this is all good stuff, right? I've got plenty of stuff to be getting on with. Again, there's another one of the screws of the captain. Um, get rid of them. And then we've got uh, more of the Shadow Spear um, Lieutenant and Captain sprues. They're just really cool sprues all around. Uh, I really like those. And then in here is Another set of the Phobos Marines from Shadow Spear also. So there's a lot there to be getting on with. I'll get back in front of the camera now and then we'll come back. 
So there you go, guys. That is what I have uh, at my disposal. Um, I am really, really, really looking forward to getting something built. Bear in mind, I'm a very new player. I, Even though I was playing in 8th 12 months ago, it's been a year, um, and I was only just learning then. Um, we were still having to dig out the rule book, check rules and things like that. It's been 12 months, so a lot of that has just gone. That stuff doesn't stay in here. You know, unless unless I, I regularly just kind of flex that that brain muscle and do it. If it's been 12 months, that information will disappear. So bear in mind, I'm quite new. I cannot wait to get stuck in. Uh, I'm lucky enough to... Our studio is based uh, in the same building as Element Games. Um, and Element Games is just up the road. Big gaming hall. People have just started gaming there now again uh, since the easing of lockdown. And there is a massive 40k community there. So I get to try out some of the things that you guys are suggesting. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, do I need to invest? Have I got enough to... My head tells me that I've got enough to crack on with what I've got and what I've got coming on Saturday from the Indominus box sets um, to, to build a pretty decent force. I don't want to build a force that no one is going to like playing. I don't want to build a force that is um, just a dice rolling exercise that is just going to steamroll over um, other noobs like me um, without even trying because it's, you know, unbeatable. Um, that's not what I want to do. I want a really thematic space wolf force. Um, predominantly Primaris. Um, but I don't mind throwing the odd uh, non-Primaris unit in there because I know there's some of the cool stuff that, that I'll want to use that isn't Primaris, uh, like Thunderwolf Cavalry and such. Um, so just bear that in mind. But do, do comment. Do get involved. Um, let's get a bit of a 40k vibe going on the channel. Um, and we'll return that favour by pumping out as much content as we can. We are hoping, touch wood, to have a, uh, a battle report a week coming out on the channel. Um, obviously with the hype around 40k, um, a lot of them will be 40k, but don't worry Middle Earth fans, we'll still be dipping back into Middle Earth as we're excited about the new releases for Middle Earth coming. Um, well at the minute, I wanna sort of get my teeth into this and get my force built and, and crack on. So I'm, I'm hoping for help from you guys. So do let me know, comment, suggest anything new I need to buy, um, suggest, builds with what I've got. I want to start off at 500 points, so uh, a nice decent force at 500 points that is going to be, you know, can hold its own, but it's not going to be horrible to play against. Hence me only picking up one box of Wolfen because I hear they're pretty uh, horrible to play against. Uh, so I've only, only got a one box uh, and I think they can go in the um, Stormfang, but Primaris can't, I think. I think I've got that right. Um, so yeah, help. <laughs> basically um and follow me on my journey it'd be really nice to have some guys who kind of you know I can, I can go backwards and forwards with and say oh that didn't work you know what about if i try this blah 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 um and we'll get a bit of a rapport going and it'd be great and um like i say in return we will bring you as much of the content that, that you want to see as as humanly possible we also do if if, if you're already a subscriber to the channel and you already know all, all about top table you already know what we're like we do like our live streams if we get enough of a following for 40k, um, we'll do a, a semi-regular uh, 40k themed uh, live stream. We do it for Middle Earth. We do a, a non-specific uh, live stream as well, once every fortnight, where me and Jay just hang out with you guys and let you know what's happening. That that will stick around. But a 40k live stream would be great because for me, it's I can learn from you guys. So. Yeah, let's do it. Right, I've waffled on long enough. Please don't forget, do subscribe to the channel, do hit that like button, and definitely 100% get a comment in. Let me know what it is that I need to be picking up. Let, it, let me know what it is I need to be painting and ready to, to get on the table. And um, yeah, I will keep you guys fully updated as to how I'm going. And you'll even be able to see how I'm doing because we'll be filming some battle reports where possibly the army that you uh, suggest will be taking part. It's just going to be down to me then, the general, to see whether I can play it or not, so uh, wish me luck. But yeah, thank you guys for your time. Um, keep watching, and we will see you soon. And just, yeah, keep washing your hands. You, you know the drill. Take care, guys.